Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games. You can see us at lionsarcade.com. And what we like to put up on YouTube is some videos of some really cool arcade games whenever we get them in. And today we've got in a really cool one, so we thought we would take a little video of it. This is Tecmo's famous Ninja Gaiden arcade game. Some people pronounce it Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden. I always said Ninja Gaiden because that's just how I always heard it referred to. So, I figured we'd uh, videotape a little overview of it. This is the original game from back in the day. I believe this came out in probably 1987, 1988. Um, this one's in pretty good shape. And we just got finished servicing it. So what we do is we buy games. Sometimes they're broke. Sometimes they're, they just need a little help. And uh, we go through and rebuild the monitor, repaint them, fix anything that's broken and get them where they're doing what they were designed to do. Be fun, one quarter at a time. So, I'm just going to show you a little overview of the cabinet. This is the control panel. The reason it says Tecmo is because Tecmo is the company that made these and they kind of made a generic control panel overlay and then also generic side art that they put on a lot of their games that came out for a while there. Some of these were available as a kit you could just turn another cabinet into a Tecmo game. Um, Ninja Gaiden was probably one of their most famous kits. But also you could buy this game in this cabinet from the manufacturer, um, or the distributor I should say. So this is, so some games they make dedicated where they have full side art and everything. This was about as dedicated as you could get one of these. And so you may have played one in this exact same cabinet back in the day. It's got a really cool uh, bezel around it and it shows you kind of how the gameplay works. Triple bow combination there. Flying neck throw, that's really cool. The famous hang kick and tightrope walk, which is done by pressing the button on top of the joystick. You can do the Phoenix backflip off of walls and barrels and things like that. And then also you could throw one of your guys into a, or one of the enemies into a uh, barrel or something and uh, get whatever's inside of it. So it's real simple controls. You had an attack button, a jump button, and then you had this cool joystick and it also had this button on the top, which was used to, uh, to grab the whatever's up above you. So just thought this was a really cool game and I'd, take a video of it in case you haven't seen one in a while and you're searching around YouTube looking for one. We sell these in our store. We're in downtown Rock Hill, about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina, just over the border, just below Carowinds, if you know where that is. And we fix these up and then put them for sale and send them to some, usually somebody buys it for their house. Um, they'll have a game room with several games or maybe this was their favorite game of all time. So. This is the only one they want, you know, and so it's just kind of cool to own the actual one that so many people have played. This is set up on a quarter of play like it was back in the day, but with those keys right there, you can play for free. No big deal. This was also a cool game in that it was two players simultaneous, so you could, you and your buddy could both play on the same board at the same time. That may sound really... Uh, obvious, but back in the day not all the games were like that. A lot of games you traded off, but you can see the Blue Ninja and the Red Ninja playing at the exact same time. So we've rebuilt this monitor with new capacitors and it looks pretty good. So that's just a quick overview of Tecmo's Ninja Gaiden. What I'm going to do now is turn it off, or turn the camera off, and when I come back I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. This is just the attract mode of Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, however you pronounce it. It's just showing you what it does if you're uh, just letting the game sit there. The attract mode was designed to attract you to put a quarter in the game, and these are these are all about being just fun enough to get you to put one more quarter in. Of course, there's the winners don't use drugs screen that was famous in the late 80s, and they're going to show you the little intro to try to explain what the game's like.
Got him. There's the title screen. Insert coin, one coin, one play. So let's do that. But since I've got the keys, I'm just going to hit the credit switch. We'll put a few credits on there so I can play through a little bit and show you what the gameplay is like. We were talking about the date earlier. There it is, 1988. So I'm going to play the second player here. There he is. So if you're the first player, you're the blue ninja. If you're the second player, you're the red ninja. And as usual, I'm not that great of a player, so we'll see how this goes. Check that move out. If you jump over them and then hit attack right when you're over their head, you can kind of grab their head and throw them. Pretty neat. There's one of my lives already. <laughs> this game was cool that you could break a lot of the stuff in the background. So like how the guy just threw me through the, the sign and earlier the uh, phone booth. Oh no! Better put another quarter in. This was a game where you would continue on the level. I don't know, I didn't make it hardly through at all, but uh, I don't know if there's checkpoints along the way or if you have to start at the very beginning of each level. This neat little thing that it did too. See how there's a bar on that sign? Well, if you got near that, you could jump up, and then if you hit the button that's on the top of the joystick, this is one of the only games that had a button on top of the joystick. If you hit the button on top of the joystick, you would actually grab that sign and hang on. Like that. And then when the guys come by, you can kick them. And it's just not, it's not just this one spot. There's other spots where you can do other things uh, similar. And there's a, a couple spots where there's a, you can kind of go hand over hand and walk down a line. But like a lot of games, this has a time limit. Yeah, that's his little backflip that he'll do off of walls and stuff. I don't think you can actually attack that, but you can throw somebody through it. But since there's nobody here, That's my little time thing. This was a game too that was it was really an advantage to play two player. So you have a little help going through the bad guys. So let's see if it lets me continue a little farther, a little closer this time. Yes, good. This is a game where if you had it in your game room, you could leave it on a quarter of play and get rich off of your friends. Of course, you'd need a change machine. I don't know if I can hang on that one or not. Probably not because there's no bar on it.
see. He can kind of go hand over hand. Pretty creative for 1988. Of course, this game was famously on the original Nintendo, too. So if you can throw the guys off, that might be a good way to do it. Sounds like a boss. Beer. Uh oh. <laughs> I would bet that you're supposed to throw these guys into them. That's what I'm going to guess. <laughs> clear folks this is like an advanced game of Frogger oh maybe I could grab the things at the top that probably would have been easier Oh, new bad guys. Mm. All right, and that's that. All right, just a quick little gameplay video. Figured I'd show you a little bit of what it's like. And of course, you can play two players at the same time, too, which makes it a little more fun. So, there you go. This is just one game of about 50 we have for sale right now. By the time you see this video, if it's down the road a little bit, it probably won't be for sale anymore, but maybe we'll have another one in like it, or maybe we'll have something else you're interested in. And uh, you can see all of our games at www.lionsarcade.com. This is Joe's Video Games, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Stop by and see us sometime. Hope you enjoyed the video.